a new milestone for SpaceX. For a second time, it test launched its Starship, the biggest and most powerful rocket in existence. But the test ended with two explosions. Here's CBS's Mark Strassman. At 40 stories tall, Starship's a behemoth. Lifting off in South Texas to wild cheering and high space voyaging expectations. Starship is through the period of greatest stress. The Starship's booster then separated from the spacecraft in a breathtaking maneuver called hot staging. Stage separation. Boost Just 20 seconds later, the booster exploded. The super heavy booster has just experienced a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. The Starship's upper stage continued, reaching an altitude of 93 miles before it lost communication with SpaceX. Company founder Elon Musk watched in mission control as the ship self-destructed over the Gulf of Mexico. I would definitely classify this as a success. Former astronaut Garrett Reisman is a SpaceX advisor. He says many of the issues that caused Starship's first test flight to explode back in April were successfully fixed this second go around. Now they know what the next set of problems are, and I'm optimistic that they'll go and fix those. The FAA has put a hold on future test flights as it oversees an investigation. But Reisman expects SpaceX will be ready to launch again soon. A lot's riding on a fully successful test flight. NASA wants to use the Starship, that's the upper stage of this rocket, to carry astronauts down to the moon in its Artemis program. Artemis 3 is optimistically scheduled to land on the moon in late 2025. Today's failed launch could make that target harder to reach. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Chicago.